And 66 houses and 150 farmlands have been destroyed by flood in Lababiri village, Bakta district in Chileng local government area of uh, the Adamawa state. Dr. Mohamed Suleiman, Executive Secretary of Adamawa State Emergency Management Agency, Ad Sema, confirmed this on Saturday in Yola. Suleiman said the catastrophe occurred between August 11th and 12th, following the heavy rains that lasted for two days. Ad Sema boss, however, said the number of casualties were yet to be ascertained. And now joining us is the Executive Secretary of Adamawa State Emergency Management Agency, Ad Sema, Abdullahi Suleiman to share uh, um, his uh, thoughts on the current situation in Adamawa. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. But All the right. point of correction is not Abdullahi, it's Mohammed Amin Suleiman. Apologies, uh, Mr. Suleiman, uh, uh, Mohammed Suleiman. Uh, so I, I want us to quickly understand what the situation is in uh, Adamawa. Uh, reports have it that flood has been a major challenge and has destroyed uh, houses and farmlands. Uh, can you quickly share with us what the current situation is? Yeah, the, the current situation presently is affecting a community in Shelling local government where we've lost over 150 farmlands and then over 66 houses with a flood. And uh, the flood happens as a result of a uh, heavy downpour that happened on the 11th and 12th of this month. Okay, um, are there any casualties uh, on record as, uh, currently? For now, we've not recorded any casualty. Okay, and, and you know, I'm sure you've been in Adamawa for a while. What do you think, you know, is the, is the reason... Uh, behind, uh, you know, the, the current catastrophe because rainfall is not new to Adamawa State. So is it a challenge with drainage? No, I actually is as a result of heavy downpour that, uh, you know, the rivers and then the whole location got excess rainfall. That is it. Contrary to what we were expecting and what has been predicted by NIMED and NASA, where we are expecting the flooding to come as a result of opening of Lagdo Dam and, uh, in Cameroon, that is why, in fact, the local governments that are at the bank of River Benoit are predicted to be having the flooding. Although the, the game is still not yet over, we are still, I mean, uh, sensitizing those, more especially those that are living along the river bank, to relocate so that uh, they will not be caught unawares. Local governments from Fufore, Yola South, Yola North, uh, Demsagire, Newman, Lamorde, and Guyuk were the ones predicted by NAMIT and NASA to be having flood but this time around we are having the flood uh, in shelling local government that is the local government bordering guyuk as a result of heavy downfall in that uh, area okay well you know seeing the way that this has turned out you know what uh, would you uh, ask of the adamawa state government uh, you know with regards relief for these people who have been affected and how can Adamawa State plan better, you know, for the rainy season to avoid a catastrophe like this? Uh, really, uh, what we've done is immediately after getting this report, when we get the, I mean, the preliminary assessment, I have forwarded my request to the state government. And uh, by the grace of God, I believe they will respond positively. And even before that, when we got the, I mean, letter from NEMA predicting the flood in the state, I have sent a memo to the governor. He has approved it. We are just waiting for the release of the funds. And apart from that one, we've summoned a lot of, we've been having a lot of media briefings, sensitizing those that are living in these areas to relocate. And also we had a plan contingency plan, I mean flood contingency plan with some with uh, some of our partners here operating in the state. 
and it is ready. I believe with the flooding coming in, we will just swing into the action and then respond appropriately. Okay, well, you, you mentioned, you know, by the grace of God, uh, you hope that the government will respond, um, you know, appropriately. But Definitely you, sure they will respond. They will. Yeah, so, so what I'm trying to clarify is what exactly is the response? Is it going to be with um, um, a makeshift housing for these people who have been, who have lost their homes? Is it going to be with uh, uh, food stuff? Um, or are they all going to be moved to a certain location where they will be taken care of? What is NEMA's response? Um, or what is, well, NEMA and the state government's response? Uh, yeah, the response will first of all look at their needs. Response will go according to needs. The first thing I believe they will be in need is shelter, food, non-food items, and then drugs medication and uh, the government in fact just an hour ago i was able to discuss way forward with the executive chairman of adama state primary health care agency on how to handle this type of issues and i believe we are on top of the issue the state will respond appropriately all right uh, mr mohammed Suleiman, we would like to speak with you again sometime during uh, the week next week uh, to get feedback on uh, what the situation is then and if the government has truly responded uh, to those people who are currently in need. But thank you very much for joining us this evening and for speaking with us. You're welcome. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.